Nobody liked Boink. Nobody liked Boink. Every, in fact, the top rated comment was, I'm Boinkin' tired of this. They were like, um, it would have been fine if it was just the intro bit. Yeah. And then Harrison, whole video. you just took it yeah, to a whole nother whole video. level. Ah! So we're back to prop comedy. Yeah. I've got these really cool sunglasses. At night. Yeah, you know, like that song? <laughs> Corey Hart. I wear my sunglasses anytime I time I it's not nice. Yeah, I mean, but have you seen the music video for that? It's like 1984. Yeah, it? it's like, what if 1984 was about wearing sunglasses at night? Right. Big Brother's definitely against that. Yeah, real against Can't that, have, yeah. But only at night. Only, only at, at night. night. You can wear them during the day. I hear Big Brother does it himself. Yeah. So I think George Orwell hates sunglasses at he night. Only at night. Yeah. Hands I don't know. It was funnier yeah. the first time we did this. No, it was. But Jen stopped, Those wasn't recording. But Jen wasn't recording, so we had to recreate it. And it was. I lost a little mat of the magic. Yeah. It's fine. You know. It's fine. We're yeah. moving on. We're moving on. You know what I'm moving into? What are you moving into? Sometimes I feel like, man, we've had our best exclusive. Yes. And then I see the next one. Mm. Big book out this week. Uh, oh, Moon, yeah. Knight. Moon Knight! Moon Knight number one! Oh my god. First off, I'm just so stoked on this. Jen McKay writing. Uh, Alessandro Capuccio nice. doing the interior art. Maybe. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's a lot of great covers. Steve McNiven, Scotty Young, Delato. Uh, Sinkevich does a really cool 1 in 100. Yeah, that's the, uh, is that the Hidden Gem one? Yeah. Nice. And uh, 1 in nice. 200 by... Ah, Junior Junior! Junior Junior! Junior! Um, but in reality, mm. forget all those other colors. You don't want them. They don't exist. They don't exist. What you no, do want... Not, 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 not here. ...is the Moon Knight, uh, exclusive by Joe Jusco. Ah, mm. oh, man, uh, I hope they're over our heads so you can see how gorgeous they look. Vintage, uh, instead of, like, vintage trade dress, mm -hmm. uh, the trade dress one looks like it's, like, an old school, like, pulp horror novel. Yes. So, really fucking cool. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, you get that straight virgin, just, just looking at the, the beautiful painted art that, of Joe Jusco. Mm -hmm. Uh, trade dress limited to 2,000 copies. Uh, that virgin limited to just 750 copies. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot and Marvel not. just announced that, uh, they're doing a whole line of Jusco covers. Covers based on, huh, huh, huh. based on Jusco's, based on Jusco's trading cards. I mm. wonder where they got that idea from. Could it be the Venom trading? Card? This cover, yeah. Bogdan, put it on my face. Venom. This right there. cover. So, it's real good. if you want the set of all Jusco's phenomenal Marvel covers, that's it. You got to come yeah, to us. We got it. I'm actually really excited. Yeah. You know, the cover, incredible. One of my favorite we've ever done. It's definitely been, like, the hottest seller so mm. far. Uh, but I'm really excited about the book, too. It's been a long time since we've had a Moon Knight ongoing. Yeah. They're really going all in on this. The I mean, interiors look amazing. Capuccio, yeah, yeah. He's not someone I was super familiar with. So Me when neither. I announced it, I was like, okay, we'll yeah. see how it goes. But I've seen some of that preview art. Looks trippy. Like, perfect for me. Looks a lot like Lemire's run. Yes. You know, like that kind of weird what's going on here. What you need for Moon Knight. Absolutely. And written Jed McKay. Jed who's McKay. Who's been, we were like both surprised. Yeah. Ridiculously good Black Cat, cat Black run. Black Cat run, yeah. Yeah, Black Cat, you know, it's usually... There's, Pretty good. You know, sometimes Marvel makes books to get you to buy covers. Yeah. We're just going to say it out loud. Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's Black Cat. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, they're like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mammograms. Yeah. Uh, but Jen McKay's been doing a really, like, it's been like, I've been enjoying reading Black Cat. Absolutely. Like, it's been really solid. It's very good. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited I'm to see what he does with us. Yeah. yeah. So that's me. You know, at the 10 minute mark, we're uh, rounding out number one. Yeah. This next one I'm just going to do entirely in Hatties. So, Icha Butaka Solo. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we got Star Wars! Brockton needs to put a little <laughs> clip of the original, like the dude, Jabba. Yes. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to say the little... <laughs> oh, that is who I think of when I think of you. Yeah, that's fair. I do sound like that. Um, this is Star Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, Jabba the Hutt. This is a Finally. one shot. I know. Finally, Jabba in his own book at last. Um, so Jabba Boba Fett did not get... 
Han Solo to him. So Jabba's like, what do I do? Do pissed. I feed him to my Rancor? Do I feed other people to my Rancor? Because I'm just Rancor's so mad hungry. about it. He's always hungry. He's always that hungry. That Rancor. Yeah. He's always hungry. Um, but this has some amazing covers. Uh, Mahmoud Ashar mm-hmm. uh, does the uh, headshot. Or, no, there is a headshot. Mm-hmm. I don't have here. Keep Ooh, going. Uh, Bernard <laughs> Chang and then the 1 in 25... Even Coelho. Even Coelho's, uh, I don't know if you saw the art on that. It's actually really good. I, I mean, everything he touches is incredible. It's basically, we haven't had a lot of Jabba, and he's yeah. kind of a central character to, I mean, he shows up in the, in the last story. issue yeah, of yeah, yeah. Bounty Hunters. But, um, but yeah, ba- Jabba, one shot issue if you're just into uh, large lizard men. Like the frogs, me too. I know I am. Uh, this is your chance to get just like just Jabba. Bites the head off mm-hmm. and then starts a race with it. But somehow is also into Leia. It doesn't make sense. No. <laughs> it's like the tail. Yeah, all right. Yeah. We're moving on. All right. Uh, <laughs> Huge book. We ordered 500 copies of this book. What that book big. is it? Uh, Mom, Mother of Madness. Yeah. Now, this is a new three-issue miniseries mm-hmm. written by Marguerite Bennett mm. and, and by the co-creator, uh, Amelia Clark, yeah. a.k.a. Khaleesi, yeah. a.k.a. You know, she was in you know everyone's favorite Transformers movie, Genesis. Transformers? Wait, yeah. uh, Terminator, Terminator. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. No, no, like no. It's Friday night. <laughs> Sorry. Art by Layla Lays. Yes. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, Marguerite Bennett worked with Amelia Clark mm-hmm. to create uh this 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 new image series. Could be a vehicle for a different medium. Who? I mean, <laughs> Amelia Clark. You think she, she's just in it for the comic books? I think that's she's yes. not thinking about TV shows, no, no, movies no, no, down no. the road. She's in it for the art. That's... Image saw how well Berserker did and like, all right, we want one. Yeah. Which, of Let's course. Let's get us some Berserker. But this actually looks pretty cool. The The art looks really interesting. That that yeah. cover is real trippy. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, it stars uh, a mom. Mm. Mm. No way. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. She's a scientist by day Ooh. and a superhero by night. Hell yeah. So it's kind of like a, a but she's in a single mom 24-7. Ah. It's, it's, it's a superhero book, yes. uh, but from uh, someone we don't typically get to see as a superhero mm-hmm. i mean in the i'm trying to think of single moms as superhero i mean jessica drew i guess you Maybe. know bendis's story arc yeah, where she becomes a mom yeah they, they kind of play around with jessica jones being yeah. a mom it's but it's not it's not it's not really well trodden ground yet no not yet uh, not yet could be a big trend uh but there's really gorgeous covers uh Andolfo mm. uh, does one. Uh, I know her. Jennifer Bartel. Oh, I've heard of her. Full name mm. there. Uh, <laughs> Jennifer. Yeah. Interior artist does one. There's a lot of great covers. Uh, mm. And if you want to pony up some big bucks, the one in five hundred is signed by Amelia Clark herself. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, yeah, preserver. Yeah, preserver. Yeah. Mm. Right. But but you know a different kind of book. Let's yeah. let's give it a try. Uh, I think it sounds like an interesting pitch. And let's see. Uh, let's check out Amelia Clark's writing chops. Let's do it. Let's see what she's got. Let's see what <laughs> she's got. I know someone that has great writing chops. Mm. Uh, from IDW, we've got John Layman from uh, Chew. Chew. Uh-huh. Outer Darkness. Outer Darkness was underrated. Outer Just Darkness is that insanely out underrated. It's very good. It, 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 it makes me angry. Um, <laughs> uh, Bermuda. Number one, uh, from John Lehman, art by, oh, Nick Bradshaw. Yeah, Nick Bradshaw. Nick Bradshaw. Mostly, yeah, yeah. usually at Marvel. Yeah, so. yeah. So, you know, a little indie. It's about uh, what goes on inside the Bermuda Triangle. Well, it turns out there's like a Savage Lands. Oh, <laughs> which is really fun. Yeah, that, that, that is fun. Dinos. Dinos and dino ladies mm-hmm. that do dino things. There's there's uh, high ratios on this one, which IDW yeah. usually stops at a 1 in 25. Yes. So them putting a 1 in 50 on that instills confidence in me yeah i mean like we said i mean that's a great creative team john layman and nick bradshaw yeah i wouldn't really put them together mm-hmm. at first like nick bradshaw i just think of like spidey yeah. you know yeah, yeah, uh, yeah venom so i'm really interested to see how he kind of leans into like the more comedic side that john layman i mean if it's a john layman book it's gonna be funny. it's gonna be funny yeah yeah, yeah. it's a it's a good but he he balances it yeah well, so yeah it'll be a fun action adventure a little bit of comedy on the side. Well, just on the side. Just on the side, you know. Yeah. Side. Oh, okay. it's like us. We're we're like we're pretty straight faced. <laughs> we're mostly little, very serious. But a little 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 humor on the side. Just some, you know, a side of bacon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, another Ooh. big number one yeah. from our friends at Boom won't won't hit the table this time. Dark blood. Dark blood. It's already sold out. Which is interesting. That is like, interesting. Like all the orderable covers already sold out before Uh-oh. the book has come out. Uh 
So yeah, so this could be a spec. Everyone's specking on Boom these days. Yeah, yeah but it's a safe spec. Yeah. Uh, written by Latoya Morgan, who mm-hmm. actually wrote for the Walking Dead uh, television show. Really? Yeah. Right so I think this is uh, one of their first comics. Mm. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically, uh, world uh, an African American World War Two vet has a, a kind of strange run in. Uh, oh, this is dark blood. Dark blood. Dark blood. Dark blood. Yeah. Dark yeah. Blood. No, it sounds awesome. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He has, and he gets like superpower. Another yeah. like superpower book. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. He gets strange abilities. Yeah. So it's not like straight he becomes a superhero. Right. It's more like what would actually happen if all of a sudden you had strange abilities. Especially in that time period. In that period. time period right. as a black man. Right. So period piece for fans of, you know, historical fiction. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think it sounds like a really cool pitch, yeah. you know? Like I'm really excited on this. The art looks great. Yeah. Covers look great. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, already sold out. I think. I think there. There's gonna be some specs. That's so a good sign. Pick up. Sign. Pick up your cover a while you can. Yeah. Dark blood. Dark blood. Uh, blood. Next up, I've got Shazam. Shazam. That was good. One. Thank you. Yeah. It's what. It's what Billy sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is just a four issue miniseries written by mm-hmm. Tim Sheridan. Mm-hmm. Tim Sheridan. Uh, the A cover is by Clayton Henry. B cover Gary Frank. Gary Frank Gotta love does, Gary Frank. Because he did uh, he did the covers on a uh, Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns uh, run. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Gary uh, Frank does a solid Shazam. But yes, he does. Uh, this one spins out of specifically Teen Titans Academy. Oh, uh, a lot of these events have been set up in it. Uh, and now they're going to have Shazam go off on his own adventure. It's funny. It's not actual hell, but it's basically hell. It's funny because you don't really think of Shazam as like a t- you know to be in Teen Titans Academy, right? Because you, I picture he's Shazam a grown ass man. Yeah, he's a grown ass man. <laughs> yeah. And like Jeff Johns' run kind of dealt more with his family, kind of yeah. tying into what the movie did. Yeah. So it's this is I think a, a different take. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm it, it, I, I am too. It kind of it kind of highlights uh, some of his more serious moments. So uh, there's a ton of good DC number ones this yes, week. There are. For me, I I took this one. I was like, I want to talk about it. Yeah. You know, I love JLI. Man. I know, I know. Uh, Blue and gold number one mm. for fans of uh, Blue Beetle and Booster. Uh, you haven't gotten to see them much. I mean, like, what, Booster shows up in a story arc of, like, you know, they show up in Heroes Here of Crisis yeah, yeah, yeah. and Batman. They're never really, like, main characters. Yeah. You know? even Until. In, even in JLI, they're more to the side. They're gag yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah exactly. Until uh, now. Until now. Uh, interior art, I'm excited. Ryan Sook does interiors. He also All does the right. A covers. Yeah. Uh, written by Dan Jurgens, which I think is great. The creator, yeah, himself. Uh, but yeah, Booster is a uh, is a uh, desperate to uh, regain the spotlight. It's basically them like playing off of like you know Booster Gold kind of sold himself as the superhero celebrity. Right. So what do we do with that in the social media age? Ooh. It's Booster trying to be an influencer. Ah, duh. Uh, and needing That's, you know yeah. Beatles help. Ah. Uh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it could be really fun. It's just going to be, a, I think, an eight issue, like right in between yeah, a mini yeah. and a maxi series. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I, I can't turn that down. Like, no. I'm stoked. Yeah. I'm stoked. Yeah. It'll be Booster, fun. Booster and Blue Beetle together. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And last, certainly not least. Well, You're so excited I, about I'm, this. I'm, I'm way too excited. I took that one. You were like, this uh, one. Yeah, I gotta have it. Uh, Superman and the Authority, number one. Who's that by? Grant Morrison and Mikkel Janin. Uh, I am what a team. really looking forward to this. Yeah. I, I was flipping through it, and the art looks phenomenal, which of course it does. Um, but also, I love this story. Uh, he's bringing back um, Manchester Black, who is originally a hero. Right. An anti-hero, but he is a hero. Right, 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 uh, right. Superman in the near future needs some kind of undercover stuff done. Okay. And basically forms his own outsiders, right? Yeah. Like, Batman has the outsiders. Zume has the authority. Yeah. So he's putting together a team of people that he needs to help him do stuff on the down low. A lot of great uh, characters in here. You've got Omac, you've got Steel, uh, Apollo you know, down and Midniner. Omac. Me too. I love Omac. Yeah. Um, and the, but the B cover, Brian Hitch, and the 1 in 25 is an incredible and immaculate Jim Bartow cover. Yes. Like the steaming eyes. I, yes, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. so good. You you see Jen Bartel usually do, 
you know, the ladies. Yeah. So it's exciting yeah. to see her do Superman. And in black and white. I, I, I Like, I think of her more for her color. Her color palette, yeah. But the, the black and white, she really put in the detail. Yeah. I mean, listen, the last book Grant Morrison had at DC was, like, one of my favorite DC books in, like, yeah. the past decade. His yeah. Green Lantern with Liam Sharp. Season one. Season one and two. You, sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, no, 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 we're no. gonna have it's a good. fight it's after good. this. It's good. It's good. I mean, season one has like issue three is like my favorite in just comics fantastic. forever. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, so I am I could not be more excited to find out that you know that wasn't it after season two of Green Lantern. Yeah. We're keeping going, keeping the train They're going, coming baby. Back. Yeah, yeah, so uh, I'm stoked. Me too. And that is what to pick up this week. Uh, you know, you can. Uh, ooh, we're doing that again. Oh, yeah. uh, by the way, these are Snake Eyes official. Snake sunglasses. Guys official. I think these are Donkey Kong official. Mmm. Snake Donkey. Oh yeah. Oh no, that was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> was that the Kool Aid Man? There's <laughs> a combination between the Kool Aid Man and. and, and... Maybe a and bit of Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah, we're given, we're being given the wrap it up. Uh, you see me Tuesday night uh, with the Ultimate Comics Live Show. Yes. We will have all these new books, all the ratios, and, and a ton of keys. Uh, Moon Knight. What's that? What is that? Werewolf by Night two, three, and four on Moon. Those have gotten crazy hot. Yeah, we've got some really cool Moon Knight keys Tuesday night. So tune in 7 p.m. Eastern on the Facebook page. Uh, Harrison's doing the Friday show. So yes, I am. I'm doing the Wednesday show as well. So mm-hmm. get get a lot of us next week. Okay. And perhaps uh, too much. Perhaps too much. Yeah, you let us know. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you next time. Ding. So what do you mean now, season it just two? Wasn't, it just was. It just was. I mean, it was fine. It was fine. Okay. It was fine. Liam Sharp just go. Crazy in the paint on that art. In the final two. two. It, you gotta get through like several issues. Mm-hmm. It's fine. You're it's just fine. wrong. It's, it's just fine. It's fine. It's, it's only it fine. It is fine that you're wrong. <laughs> oh, that is who I think of when I think of you. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs>